Hey everyone, this is Albert Collado and today I'm going to talk about the Procreate keypad. A while back, there were ads on Facebook and Instagram saying that this keypad will work with Procreate. It seemed sketchy at the time with their website constantly changing for a couple months and even Procreate not endorsing the product at some point. Customers went weeks without getting any info about the product or any tracking information about their order. So it caused a lot of confusion, even a bunch of cancellations. Until I actually saw a tweet of an artist actually getting the product and trusting the fact that it was gonna come. And in fact, the product was legitimate and not a scam. Which in turn, Procreate contacted the creators and the mix up was cleared up. So this pushed me to get it and this is why I love it. At the time of the recording, the price was $35, which is on sale for $56.99. An honestly awesome price for its capabilities. Packaging is very simple, comes in a cardboard box with a small instruction manual and a micro USB charging cable. It easily pairs with your iPad through Bluetooth and you're ready to go from there. It'll indicate it needs to charge by blinking red. It takes about two hours for a full charge and the light will turn off after a full charge. Now the pros of this keypad is if you're someone who is coming from Photoshop and use shortcuts, I don't see why this wouldn't be an instant buy. It's conveniently labeled with tools used in Procreate. It's very responsive with no latency making the use seamless. Very portable and lightweight and comes with a micro USB charger. It has a conveniently hidden charging port. It can be used with other drawing apps like Clip Studio that allow the use of keyboard shortcuts. However, I don't use Clip Studio, I only solely use Procreate. The size is perfect for those on a budget and don't need the magic keyboards and longer keyboards that'll make the use very clunky. However, the ordering experience wasn't great. I never received any tracking info for days and nothing updated on the site, so I contacted customer support. They were responsive and I was able to get tracking info that way. It did take over a month to get to me though. This isn't necessarily a, a con, but it's something that you should be aware of when you order it. Maybe it's something that'll get fixed in the future because they are backed up with orders. It is made out of cheap plastic, so I wouldn't throw this around because it may crack. I'm almost curious if I could find another housing for the keypad, so it's a little bit sturdier, maybe something made out of aluminum to get the aesthetic of Apple. I do wish that the button layouts were customizable so I could move some of the shortcuts around. This could probably get done somehow. If you do know, let me know in the comments. Also, it doesn't have a button for opacity, but this isn't a deal breaker for me. Overall, the Aok Tai, Aok Tai T? Anyway, the keypad is awesome. I was in search of a compatible keypad for my Procreate workflow, but most keypads would require remapping or completely building my own altogether. And I don't know how to do that. If you could teach me, let me know. It's a budget friendly option for any artist wanting to make their workflow much faster. You can grab one at their site down below in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is my first product review. Let me know how I did. I'm just trying to switch it up for the channel. Also, don't forget to check out the untitled.jpg podcast that I do feature on here, as well as Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And this is where I talk to all kinds of creatives about their careers. And it's a perfect podcast for any artist trying to get insight on other people's careers and how, how to get started on your own. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.